so I want this video mainly to be a play along or in the beginning and then I'm going to explain what's going on. Uh, so I want you to be able to play each hand separate. I don't want you to really put the hands together unless you want to, unless you get really good at playing the hands separate. It's the only time you put them together because there's a lot of little things going on in here. Uh, so let's start, play this just with your right hand then just with your left hand. I'm going to count it off. One, two, three. Four, one, two. Lots of stuff going on. Uh, you know the right hand, I, mainly with the right hand I want you to clean up that rhythm. Because especially the first notes, you know, one, two, that's a lot of, there's a big space there. And you gotta be okay with that. The left hand, I'm gonna teach to you one more time here. We got four and two, G and B. And then you go out to C and F sharp, and then back. And then we go down here to our five, which is D, you play D and A, D and G, D and F sharp, and then practice these four chords. You've got a G major, your thumb's going to move over to F, and this second finger on D is a G7, with G, always with the G on the bottom. Then these two guys move down one, C and E, this is a C major second inversion, and then this weird chord, G, A, and C. Five, four, two. So let's do that again. G major, jumping up, G, D, F. These guys move over, G, C, E. And this is already happening, G, uh, A, C. And then you do this little bass line. Uh, B, C, D, D. G, D, G. So watch that fingering. This is a very common thing to happen in classical music. You're going to get really used to this motion. Um, B, C, D, D, 